Man, I don't think he's heads, in it? Josh Taylor's had had his troubles as well. And there's been stuff going on in the background. I can't, I just can't do it anymore. Yeah, he's just sort of gone downhill since then, really, hasn't it? He looked like he hadn't had a decent camp. I don't know whether his dad's been a great influence on him. He looks mentally broken, doesn't he? Do you think Again. there could be a robbery in this fight? He needs the right people around him. Do you think he's done as a fighter? To another episode of Bloodlust Boxing. I'm Sav. I'm Bez. Today's episode, we have a look at that fight this weekend. Will Josh Taylor be too big and too strong for Teofimo Lopez? Or, <laughs> or will Lopez get some redemption by beating Josh Taylor? What do you reckon? Big things are going to be happening, so big things. <laughs> That's your technical breakdown, yeah? That's, that's <laughs> it. That's, that's basically it, really. Like, you that's don't really it. need to watch the fight That's anymore. it. Mic drop. That's, yeah. Big team. That's, that's <laughs> telling you everything, everything you need that's to know. That's how we bring it. That's how we do it about that spot, Shim. We break yeah. it down for you like no one else does. Big team. Yes. I like. I like. I like the big things. <laughs> Let's get to oh, it, man. Let's no. get to it. A big fight in the US this weekend. We've been waiting for this one, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. It should be a cracker. Tio, uh, I'm going to say right off the bat, man. I don't think his head's in it. I, I yeah, you know don't. what? The amount of interviews I've seen this week, everyone's saying the same thing. He doesn't look right. He looks mentally broken, doesn't he? Yeah. I don't think he's, he's mentally there for it. And we've been saying that for a while, to be mm. honest with you. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of things going on in his personal life. Uh, we don't want to go into it on here, but obviously. But he, he, he's definitely had a, taken a toll on him. And it's, it's been going on for some time, from what I understand mm. as well. I think even when he before he had that Sandal Martin fight, there's been stuff going on in the background. And yeah, it's yeah. just, well, it's, it's a bit messy at the moment. Yeah, yeah. ever since Lamachenko, I've, I've not seen him right. Yeah, he got that win, and that that was a massive yeah. win. Obviously, beating Lomachenko. Yeah. Lomachenko had an injury at the time, but yeah, he's just sort of gone downhill since then, really, hasn't he? Mm. In the in the ring. Yeah, yeah. Do you think the fat, the fat checks have got to himself? You know, like he, he made his money, and now he's like, I just I can't I just can't do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's mad, isn't it? I mean, when you look at Lara, Lara yeah. Wood. So obviously, Lara had been building and building and building, and then he, he got that win against Lee Wood, and he got the title, he got the belt, and then in the next took, fight, the rematch, he he looked he looked flat. He looked like he hadn't had a decent camp. He obviously didn't make weight, and then he probably yeah. had a bit more money in the back pocket after that. And is it is it a case of the hunger goes? I don't know. Like I think so, man. I think so. It's if it's your everyday job, it, it's got to take a lot to get you back up there mm. like the mental strength to get you back up in that to wait you wake up every morning go for your jogs over your yeah those early morning jogs that's gotta take it? a strain yeah yeah obviously like his, his dad i don't know whether his dad's been a great influence on him in terms of again that's a, a, a thing a lot of people are it's saying a sticky situation but so obviously he had his dad there with him when he beat lemachenko but mm. it, it doesn't look like that relationship's benefiting him now. I, I think they've always brought people into the camp. Yeah. But his, dad, his dad's sort of taken a bit more of the lead. But I, th I, I think th it's been good for him. We've been saying for a while he needs to change it up big time, get someone really fresh in there, like a well-known trainer, and, and probably move away, away from his dad. Yeah. Josh Taylor's had, had his troubles as well over the last... Has it been about a year now since he fought Catchall? I think it's been about a year, yeah. I think we yeah. covered, covered the shot. Shocking, shocking decision. <laughs> shocking, shocking, shocking decision. Yeah, but was that just Listen, a blip for just? Taylor? It could be. It could be. Look, he's had he's had his proven record. Is that some massive be an off night? He, he unified yeah. the division in the hard way, didn't he? Exactly. exactly. He, he didn't just sort of. He didn't just get all the belts in one go. He, he went off one by one. He, yeah. He picked it up from different fighters. He got it from, you know, uh, Richard Grey. That was a great fight, obviously. And then that was a razor thin fight. The, the, the issue for me with Josh Taylor is is the weight cut going to be too difficult? Because we were thinking. I can't believe he's still at the same weight. Yeah. I can't believe it, son. He's, a, he's another one when you look at him in fight week when he's facing off he just looks gaunt as well like last yeah. time when he fought catch all he looked, he looked yeah. gaunt and he, he said himself he didn't make the weight in the right way maybe he, he took catch all a bit lightly but he, even if there's a like he, well if there is a right way of cutting the weight <laughs> he just looks too big for, for the division yeah. He looks like he needs to move up. Nah, he? I, I think he needs to move up. I don't. I don't honestly know why he's stuck around. I mean, I get the whole catch-all thing. Yeah, he's, well, he's they were a... meant to fight, wasn't he? And it kept getting delayed, delayed, and then he got the injury. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that fight has got to happen. That's got to be rerun at some point. Yeah. 
seeing as they didn't do anything about the decision, then yeah, it's got to be rerun. Yeah, yeah but let's but, look at it like, yeah, what happens in this fight? Do you think it play has an impact on on it? I don't think so. You know, I think I think it's going to be back to business as usual. Yeah, he's looked um, good this week, isn't he? He's he has looked tight. good. He has looked good. Yeah, he's changed and trainers think... again. He was with Ben Davison for a little bit. Mm. He's changed change trainers yeah no i think it looks more i think he's ready for it like especially he'll take great confidence in in tio's last fight as well sandal martin yeah yeah so obviously i I think i watched that fight and i think that was a big robbery big robbery yeah (laughs) <laughs> it, was, robbery. it was a split decision Tiafimo Lopez looked nervous when it was being read out and he even asked the question he? he's like do you think I've got it yeah uh, second round knockdown and then I'm pretty sure he lost most of them rounds mm. so uh, I, I think I think Josh is probably quite confident yeah yeah he, he definitely looks confident and I think all the vibes that we're getting off Tiafimo Lopez you, you can't you know you can understand why Josh Taylor is confident so the, the thing is as well, like when you look at Lopez, like do you think do you think he's done as a fighter? I mean, it's harsh saying that now. He's only twenty five. I don't think so. I think I think he can he could bring it back. He could bring it back. He just mm. he needs the right people around him. Yeah, big time. Yeah, and and yeah. the thing obviously as well, he when he beat Lomachenko. He he was big at that weight, wasn't he? It was one three five. Yeah. It was massive, and fighting yeah. like Lemachenko, and he he made that that you know he made it show on on fight night. Now yeah. then he was struggling to make the weight against Camposus. Uh, he had a lot of issues in that that fight, and that uh, obviously he lost there. And then he moved up in weight, yeah. which which is the right move. But he's not as big at one forty as he was at one three five. So yeah. you've got. You got Taylor, who's struggling to make 140, but he's quite tall. And then you got Tifo Mo Lopez, he's moved up to one 140, but he's not as big as he was, obviously at 135. Um, there's a bit of a height difference there as well. So yeah. there's a lot, a lot going on there. But yeah, I think yeah. just in terms of mentality wise, do you think you think Josh Taylor's got it? He's got the mental edge on this. Yeah. I think he's got the speed, the work um, rate. Yeah, they're both pressure yeah, the fighters. Right. They're both yeah, pressure yeah. fighters. Yeah, I feel like um, Tio is always looking for that that big right hand more than more than Josh would be. Well, what was it when he was losing to Cambosos? His dad in the corner was just like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> well, I don't know why I gave it. Don't know why I gave his dad a <laughs> Scottish <That's>... accent. <laughs> yeah, he's like a mole in the camp. <laughs> yeah. His dad's Scottish. That's why he... <laughs> he wasn't giving him great instructions when he was losing. And, and that's, again, no. that's another thing that's going to play in no. this fight. If it's not going all Lopez's way, is he going to get the right guidance in the corner? It's true. It's true, man. Mm. It's true. But I'll, um, I'll give you my prediction for it anyway. All right, you're you doing it, yeah? I mean, yeah, Webby, massive. You're a good streak last week. Yeah. I, I was know, it last week? man. I got... Yeah, no, a week before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We didn't really talk about that, did we? Like, I'm, I'm definitely up on the cards, for sure. Yeah, it's smashed that. <laughs> I think Josh Taylor's gonna win it on on points again. I can't I can't really see the knockdown. Do you think again. there could be a robbery in this fight? Uh, I've got a feeling there could be something strange that happens in this fight, like a controversial decision. I feel like there's there nah. is a controversial decision decision gonna happen in this fight. I don't know why. <laughs> My spider sense is tingling. Is that is that just, is Josh Taylor's in it? Is that why? Is that what you're saying? And and to be fair, both of them. To both be fair, of them, both of them. There's, are there's always com- that controversial. Controversial. Either way, but not saying yeah. obviously. Nah, the nah, other nah. fights Josh, I, I Josh, think it's going to be clear Josh Taylor's won those like well like it's not like he's yeah, been a yeah. question mark over the rest of his fights he's 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 won it, but it, it almost got uh, when he fought Ramirez. Yeah. And it, the cards weren't as wide as he thought it was going to be. So I think it'll be fine, man. I, I can't see any controversy in this one, but you never know. Yeah. Uh, well, well, are you, you going to call this fight? Are you going to you gonna predict it? Yeah, yeah I'm going to go Josh Taylor win. I, I can't yeah. see. T- Tiafimo Lopez, it, it's, it's kind of, it's a broken he looks like a broken man at the moment. It's almost a case of he probably needs to take take a little bit of time away from boxing. Uh, and as you yeah. said, surround him with new people, switch camps. But yeah, I think until he gets things sorted out outside the ring, we should, shouldn't be fighting inside the ring. Uh, obviously, getting punched in the head for a living doesn't doesn't help the situation, does it? No. Nah. I mean, nah. it, it does take your mind off things. <laughs> but at the same time, yeah, it's not it's not great. But so yeah, I think I think Josh Taylor does it. It's the weight cut is still a bit of an issue for me. I'll, I'll be keen to see how well he rehydrates because he could sort of fade off towards the end of the fight yeah so, yeah should be good night boxing yeah yeah but looking forward to it so well anyway yeah. well if you haven't already hit that like button and subscribe yeah baby peace